Today I'm going to show you how to make an infused oil. The essential oil that you get in tiny little weenie bottles is the cold pressed plant and the oil is extracted from that. But an infused oil is using a dried plant in oil almost exactly the same way as you make a cup of tea but using oil instead of water. Today I'm going to show you how to make jasmine infused oil because my friend Kevin grew some in his garden, picked it, dried it and sent me some. To dry a plant you need to pick the flower somewhere around about 11 o'clock in the morning so that the dew has come off the flower. So it needs to be a very very sunny day so you don't have any damp moisture in the air. So you pick the flower you lay it on a white sheet in full sunlight or I usually put mine in an airing cupboard and then you just leave it until the plant is dried. I believe Kevin told me that he put this on his dining table in full sunlight to dry out and it took a few days to dry out. Jasmine is a very, very beautiful plant. If you grow it in your garden, you'll know it smells absolutely fantastic. And it's very calming, relaxing, but also a very good plant for skin care. It's moisturising and also I have used it in the past for people who have slight scarring on their skin. It's good to moisturise and soften up scars. So, here we have our dried jasmine. Here I have got light olive oil, not the extra virgin one. The extra virgin olive oil is very strong coloured and it can stain skin and clothes. So this is a light olive oil. Olive oil in its own right is a fantastic skin oil because it's anti-inflammatory in its own right and it's got omega-9 oil in it which is good for skin and very very moisturizing for the skin. Now this is an oil we're making, this isn't a cream because a cream contains oil and water which is emulsified together. So today we're just making an infused oil and it's dead easy. So empty jam jar, good job we've got empty jam jars because I use them such a lot for my recipes. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the jam jar with the dried flowers. Don't want to waste any, so I'll get all of those in. There you go. There you go. All done. And I'm going to put the same amount of oil in there, maybe just slightly cover it. So here you are. Let's see how that looks. No, it needs a little bit more. Make sure that the flowers are well covered with oil, but you don't want too much, otherwise you'll lose the strength of the jasmine flowers. Make sure all the flowers are down in the oil. Ideally, ideally we would put that in full sunshine on a window ledge for around about three weeks. But we have had very little sunshine this year. So what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit and I'm going to put it in the oven. I've half filled this baking pan with water now and here's our jar with the flowers and oil in. I'm going to put the lid on very very loosely and that partially is to stop the natural volatile oils in the flour escaping from the jam jar and also to allow it to vent. A little bit because if I don't then the whole lot might explode in the oven so just put that lid on very very loosely. Jar in the water and what happens there is that the water heats up in the oven 
and the oil and flowers heat up very gently via the water because I don't want direct heat on that oil because you know what happens when oil gets too hot it burns and so I will have wasted all of that I just want that to infuse very very gently I'm going to turn the oven on now and I'm going to turn it on very very low so just turn it on to the 50 mark and in fact I might just do it a little bit lower just, just a little bit lower than the 50 degrees C there because I just want a tiny bit of heat in there and then this whole thing can go in the oven you don't need to wait for the oven to heat up you can put it all in cold because it will all heat up together then so you put that in there so I'm going to leave that for about three hours and I'm going to have a smell of it after three hours and see if it needs a bit longer after that see you in three hours That's been in the oven around about three hours now, actually just over three hours, and I'm going to get it out. It shouldn't be too hot because we've had it on such a very low heat, but to be on the safe side, just use a tea towel or oven gloves, whatever you've got. So off goes the oven. Out comes the oil. There we have an infused oil. It doesn't smell very strong, it's very pleasant and slightly sweet, but what this does is it gives us a base to make a cream if we want to, or actually you can use it neat on your skin. I'm going to now sieve it. that down a bit so all the oil comes out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour that oil into a jar and I've obviously got these little brown jars but you can use any jar that you like. The reason why jars are brown, um, medicinal jars are brown or cream jars are brown is because that keeps the light off the cream inside it. We're going to put an oil on there. Use that almost exactly fill the little jar up put the lid on and it's very important when you make something like that that you know what it is and when you made it so for storage reasons you know what you've got in that jar so I am going to make a label Call it jasmine infused oil and the other important thing is to put the date on there and the date today is the 17th of September 2012 Actually, because I want to remember that I've used Kevin's flowers, I'm just going to put Kevin's flowers on there. And then put that on the jar. And that's it! Jasmine infused oil. I'm going to use that that's left in the bowl on my skin. That feels beautiful on my skin. The smell is not that strong. So if you wanted to, you could add some pure essential jasmine oil to it. 
That is pure essential jasmine oil. It's quite expensive and remember that essential oils are still plant medicines so you need to be careful with them. If you don't really know what you're doing, don't use them. What I'm going to do with this is just put a few drops into that. I'm going to put 10 drops. There you go. Give it a good shake up. There you go, that's giving it a beautiful infused jasmine oil smell. Much stronger smell than it had before. But that we can either use as a base for a cream, for a face cream, or I'll probably just use it on, his, it on its own, either a little bit in the bath for a nice warm soothing bath before I go to bed at night, um, or directly as a skin oil. It's beautifully moisturising and very very soft for the skin. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to know more about herbs and what you can do with them, you can visit my website at www.herbalhealthinformation.com and you can also go to my Facebook site which is Linda Bostock Medical Herbalist and press on the like the Facebook site is the one I put the most recent information on because I'm regularly doing herb walks in the area. So if I see anything, I pop it on the Facebook site. See you again soon. Bye.